Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, welcome. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to customize your cart page for your Shopify website. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you a few different sections that you can add to your cart page, how to add cart page announcements, as well as how to feature an email signup and how to feature your products on your cart page. Then I'll also be showing a few ways to make your cart page mobile responsive. If you're looking to customize your checkout page as well, I'll be showing you a few different ways to customize a Shopify checkout page. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. To get started, you're going to want to open Shopify, then click online store, then themes. And you can go in to customize your currently published theme. Here on your website, you're going to open your cart page. And this is my current cart page. I'm going to add an example product to my cart to see how the cart appears when there's a product added. The first section, I'll be showing you how to add to your cart page would be a text announcement. Adding a text announcement can help to display any of your shipping announcements and even any discounts you're running. I'm gonna show you a beginner friendly way to add a few announcements to your cart page. Here under my heading, I'm clicking add section and here I'll be inserting a multi-column. I'll be removing this heading text and I'm also gonna scroll down and remove this button label. For an example, I'll be doing two cart page announcements. So I'm gonna set the number of columns on desktop to the number two. Then I'm gonna remove this third column. Next, I'm gonna click on one of the columns and here under heading is where you can type in one of your cart announcements. Then here in the description field is where you can clarify the details of the shipping or the discount announcement that you're making. And that is a quick way that you can place announcements on your cart page. And here's how the mobile display of this section appears. And next, I'll be showing you a way that you can change the color schemes of the sections on your cart page to keep a cohesive feel throughout your website. For my website, I've done a pink, white, and black color scheme. And the highlight color of the website is gonna be this pink supporting accent color. So here on my cart page, I'm gonna click on this multi-column Right here under color scheme is where I can apply a different color scheme to this section of the website. I'll be selecting a color scheme that still ties into the rest of the website. And then I'll also be applying this color scheme to these other two sections of the cart page. And that's how you can help your cart page to tie in with the rest of your website design. By the way, if you are interested in this website I'm showing, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I have a variety of Shopify theme templates designed for many types of businesses. These will help to give your business that professional look and layout without you having to spend a ton of time creating your website from scratch. If you're not too familiar with Shopify templates, after your order, you're gonna receive the theme in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to publish it and edit it to fit your business. I have Shopify themes for skincare and beauty businesses. And I also have some for clothing and dropshipping businesses. There is a by step installation guide included to walk you through how to install the Shopify theme into your store. And most of my themes are template bundles that also include logo templates, brand kit templates, and more. I will link this Shopify theme template in the description box below, along with where you can go shop my other Shopify themes. Next, I'll be showing you how to add an email signup and how to add some featured products to your website's cart page. So here below this subtotal, I'll be inserting an email signup. I'm gonna click on the heading and here it has the option for me to reposition the text. Here for the subheading, I'll be typing in a call to action. This can help encourage customers to join the email list. When you select the text, you'll be able to edit the sizing of the text. And you may have the option to put the text in bold, italic, and insert a link leading to another page within your store. Then for the overall email signup, you'll be able to select to apply a different color scheme. And 
And if you'd like, you can choose if you would like to make the section full width. And that's how you can add a quick email sign up. Next, I'll be showing you how to add a featured collection. I'm going to click Add Section. And here I'll be inserting a featured collection. I'm going to retitle the heading text. Then you can also choose the number of products that you would like to show and the number of columns that you would like to show on desktop. And when you click Select Collection, you'll be able to select which collection you would like to feature on your cart page. You can select if you would like to make the products full width. And you can also choose to adjust the image ratio. Then I'll also be applying a new color scheme to the featured collection. Here under description, you can type in a mini description to describe which collection you're featuring. And you can also adjust the description text style. And you'll have a few other editing options for your featured collection. And here's how the featured collection looks. Here's an example of how the section can appear on mobile. Next, I'll be showing you a few ways you can adjust a few of these sections for the mobile view. Starting with your multi-column, under mobile layout, you can select to either show one or two columns at a time for the mobile view. Then you can select to enable the swipe on mobile so that your customers can just swipe through those cart page announcements. And that's how you can adjust the mobile display for the multi-column. Next, I'm gonna click on this featured collection. Then here under mobile layout, you have similar options to the multi-column. You can select to show one or two columns at a time on mobile. And also enable the swipe on mobile. Those are a few different ways that you can customize the cart page of your Shopify website. Next, I'll be showing you a couple ways to customize the checkout page. I'm going to click Customize Checkout. Under Logo, you can select to add your logo to the checkout page. And you can also adjust the alignment of the logo. You have a few other editing options for this page. And you can also edit the color scheme of this page. Here you can adjust a few of the accent and button label colors. And you can also adjust the display of the card backgrounds and form fields. And those are a few different ways you can customize the checkout page for your website. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you are interested in this Shopify template, I will have this link in my description box below. And I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify templates designed for clothing, apparel, beauty, and many other types of businesses. If you're not too familiar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're gonna receive it in a theme zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to edit the section and you'll be able to add your pictures and products. Most of my Shopify themes are template bundles, so they do include other templates like logo template, banner templates, and more. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.